But go ahead and just on one side of the paper, would you please draw the very best B you possibly can? All right? We're just going to have some fun. Going to have some fun as we discover, discover a natural law. All right, got it? Got a little B going over there? Turn to your friend's B and be absolutely amazed. Okay, just look over and go, wow, that's an amazing B. Good. On the far other side of your paper. Other side is a flower. So on the left side you have a B, and on the right side we have a flower. So go ahead and just draw off a little flower really quick. All right. Keep smiling as you do it. Great. So simple question. And let's see. I'm going to borrow here from the work of Buckminster Fuller. Raise your hand if that name means anything to you or you know about him. Bucky, Bucky. Bucky Fuller, geodesic dome, carbon molecule, humanity saving the planet in a nutshell. Brilliant, brilliant mind. And what he did in part of his life is he went after understanding how natural living systems work to see if he could find a solution on how we can keep humanity alive on the planet. And I'm borrowing from his work with this. All right, so here's a simple question. What's the bee's purpose with the flower? Bee's purpose with the flower, you have 30 seconds to talk to your friend about it. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. I was going to go table by table, all right? So just somebody, when I point to you, don't look around. Just, I just point, and someone's going to say what your answer is. The bee's purpose with the flower, let's start. Um, Omar, can you get us started back there at your table? Thank you. Did you hear what he said? Okay, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I just had to follow the train of thought for a moment. Thank you. Because we went from one word to multiple. That's all. All right, good. Thank you. This, this group right here. Yeah. Okay, good, good. So we had two votes pollinate and one vote that one. Okay, good, good, good. good. This, this table here, what do you think? This group. What's that? Okay, great. Thank you. And? Pollinate. Uh-huh, and? Ooh. <laughs> we just kicked it up a notch. There we go. There we go. Good, good. This group right here. What? What do you got? You're going to go for pollinate. Good, good. So we got four or five pollinate. Life. Sustaining. Good. And this group. And pollinate. All right. Good job with those answers, by the way. Very nice work. All right. Survey says. The bee's purpose with the flower is to collect what, everybody? Nectar. Nectar. Because all the, perp the, the, all the bee knows, if bees have consciousness, all the bee knows is I've got to go get the nectar, the food, so I can bring it back to the hive because I got the queen bee hanging out, checking off, did I or did I not and how much, right? So we can keep the colony alive. Beautiful. So then what do we do with the answer called pollination? Introduce you to a phrase you may or may not know. Called processional effects. What's it called? Processional yeah, processional effects. Pollinating is a processional effect. Now in the laws of physics, Processional effects happen at right angles. For some people who love geometry and all that stuff, that's really, really cool. And it's significant to our understanding this morning of a, or this afternoon of our model. And that is so that, so when you drop a pebble into water, what do you notice? Ripples. Yeah, ripples, right? Processional effect. The rock is doing what it's designed to do, fall straight, gravity taking over, doing what it's doing, poof. And by the way, if you study physics and all that, you'll notice that 
every moment of contact is a 90 degree angle all the way around. So we knew 90 degree angles to be called right, right angles. Not meaning wrong or right, but just right. So a processional effect is what happens, the right things that happen as living organisms stay on point. So let's go here for a moment. Let's say that one of the bees, <clears throat> I don't know, wakes up one day and says, uh-uh, I'm not doing the honey thing. I'm not doing it. It's sticky, it's heavy, and it messes up my coat. I'm not doing this anymore. So he crawls out of wherever he was hanging out, and he grabs his other home bees, and he says, hey, I'm not going to do that anymore. And they're like, what are you going to do? I'm not going to get that, honey. It's big and sticky, and it messes up my coat, and that's not okay with me. I'm not doing it anymore. And they're going, hey, I never thought about that. I think I'll join you on that. So he gathers up of all of his home bees, and they go out on this little thing, and the only thing they go after is pollen. Why? Because pollen's light. It's fluffy. And the color matches my coat. I'm going for that. So this group of bees just decides it's going to go get pollen. So what it decides to do, according to this model, is to go off of purpose and to chase pollination, or a processional effect. Now play a little game, a little higher order thinking game with me for a moment. If then, right, cause and effect. If the bees on the planet decided to no longer collect ne nectar, but only do pollen, if that was to happen, then what happens? No right, no more bees. If there are no more bees on the planet, then no more flowers. If there's no more flowers on the planet, then come on, go here with me. Just keep playing along, okay? Good, good, good. Right, 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 right. If there's none of that, then what happens? Right, no beer, exactly. <laughs> Let's just get right to the chase, right? Cut right to it. So look, so look, ultimately, ultimately, absurdly perhaps, but ultimately, a bee off purpose ultimately causes the death of all living things on the planet. Just because it decided to make this over here more important than its main event. Again, if you like geometry and physics, you know that with every step that that bee and his buddies take, go in this direction, it becomes exponentially greater distance away from the main event. Nod your head if this makes sense. So let's take it out of the laws of nature and bring it into an organization, a living system of organs, what's the connection to education? If the bee was students and the flower is school, what's the main event? Turn to the person next to you and say, I bet you have the answer. Go ahead, turn to him. Go ahead. Good, good, talk to each other. Talk to each other, go.